I recently brought home this IBM Server 95, PS2 Server 95 to be exact, and it doesn't seem to be very happy. I can't get it to boot or post for that matter. Um, yeah, this computer was in a basement for years. However, that basement got flooded not too long ago, I believe it was. Um, this computer was stored away in perfect and working conditions, but yeah. These machines really don't like water, <laughs> I can imagine. Um, I also have another IBM PS2. This is a Model 60, and this one seems to be a lot healthy, healthier than the other one. It's also older, but this is a 286 at 10 megahertz, I believe, so <laughs> it's too wild to get uh, working, but the main difference between this one and the other one is that this server model 95 really doesn't do anything. And the other one came up with error codes, so I managed to solve everything and get it working again, but <laughs> this one isn't happy. So as you can see, it doesn't do anything right now. Which leads me to believe that there was something wrong with that giant power supply. Because sometimes it does turn on, sometimes it, do sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure why. really strange. And I really hope that I can get this working again because it's a really nice machine. Especially because of its size, I mean seriously. Look at that power supply. 399.1 watts. <laughs> Point 0.1. Not much is going on. So let me disconnect the power plug and flick the switch a few times. Let's see if I can get it to turn on again. I don't think so. Oh, there we go. Great. Now, um, even if it does turn on, it won't post, so this is all it does. can try plugging in. Probably shouldn't do this while it's on, but yeah, whatever. As long as I don't try to connect these upside down, I don't think it will matter a lot. I, I did that once. You can actually plug in Molex connectors the wrong way if you really try. <laughs> it's not good for your uh, equipment. Oh, the optical drive seems to be working. But there is something noticeable going on here, and that is that the person who installed hard drives in this thing didn't really care much about attaching them or safety for that matter, because I don't think it's a good idea to simply pop in some loose hard drives. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what to do with this. I think I'll probably open up power supply and take a look what's going on in there so I really hope to get this working I'll keep you guys updated so